What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gone Fishing 804. Today we at Amazon, bro. Amazon, right back there. We are going to get out here and see if we can't get on some fish. I mean, the spot looks juicy. It looks saucy already. You know what I'm saying? So today's mission, catch some fish. I know we can do it. It just looks too juicy, man. We're going to start off with the top water. Got a little bit of rain coming down right now. Drizzle, hopefully it stays that way and we don't get soaked. But even if we do, I really don't care because we are at a juicy looking spot. Hopefully it's got some big fish in it. We are going to find out. Big shot, big shout out to everybody that's tuned in, rocking with the channel. Without you guys, this would not be possible. So let's keep grinding. And without further ado, man, let's get it. All right, guys, we are out here. We gotta, we gotta start off with the frog. I mean, it's, it's not, nothing else. There's a beaver right there. But where do we start throwing the frog at? I guess in the pads. <laughs> in the pads. Let's see. Let's see what we got see if we can get one on the first cast got the uh, hit a bluegills hidden hopefully it don't get no crazier than this it's it's raining pretty pretty decent right now not decent it's a little drizzle so hopefully that has these fish turned on and i think this white eat me frog is gonna be the sauce for real but if not we got a little terminator frog too Let's see where these bad boys hiding at this morning. Oh my gosh. How did he miss that? I know y'all saw that. That was a big one. <laughs> Golly. That was insane. How did that fish miss that though? Of course he's not gonna hit it while I'm rolling back through here, but we got a ton of pads, a ton of grass, man. It's just the perfect conditions for it. Right now I'm only rocking 20 pound braid on this setup. This is a seven foot three, uh, heavy fast action rod, loose custom stick. And I think my reel is 6, 8 to 1 gear ratio. Dang, how did he miss that? That would have been nice to have in the boat first thing this morning. There we go, guys. There we go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nice. Black. These fish are... Well, this fish is super dark. Let's go, man. Let's go, baby. Not a bad start, not a bad start. All right. Numero uno, guys, maybe a half a pound, almost a pound. Nice little healthy fish, man. Hopefully, hopefully Gertrude comes back, man. It actually is soothing, a soothing, a soothing rain. I mean, it's just water for real. <laughs> It's just water. So I don't know how good this is going to be as far as visually, but we out here, man, throwing the top water in the rain. We got two blow ups, one catch. It's not a bad 50 50, 50 50 ratio. I think that fish was pretty big, though, for real. But you know, guys, I hope the rain just doesn't get any worse than it is right now and it kind of stays steady, I can deal with that. But if it starts dumping on me, then I might as well stay anyway because I'm already wet, you know what I mean? So we, we out here fishing today. For sure, for sure, you know what I'm talking about? Here we go, guys. I don't know what this is. Oh no, it was a good one. Dang, 
He didn't barely even hit it. I didn't see no blow up or nothing. Dang it. Well, that's number two, man. Well, that's two, two that I missed, one that I hooked. Okay, that rain is lightening up some, but we still got the cloud cover. We definitely want to keep the clouds as long as we possibly can. And this is like, like super dark water. Super, super dark water, but it's clear. It's crazy, I've never seen water, it's so black. Well, it looks like glass right now. Or, or mirror reflection of everything else. But I hope we can keep this cloud cover. I'm enjoying this top water action so far. There we go, guys. Little guy. Little guy. Another little guy. These fish are beautiful, man. They're like <clears throat> so dark because they sit in the shallows all the time. They're just like super dark. <sighs> but what a beautiful little fish, man. We need to get on some big ones, man. We need to get on some big fish. It has been quiet. <laughs> It's been quiet for a little bit now. So we're going to head back this way. Still throw the frog a little bit. Might mix it up. Uh, throw a swim bait, a little small swim bait, and see if we can't capitalize on some, on some bigger fish, man. All right, guys. We are going to swap it up just a little bit. We've been throwing that frog around for quite a bit. Had quite a few blow-ups on it, and we still have time, but it's just a little bit too slow for me. So I want to see what this 3-inch three and a half inch little rage swimmer can do all white with the belly bladed swim swim bait hook and see if we can't um catch a big one on this thing there's a lot of standing timber structure right over in here so i'm hoping that a fish i just got hit right there i'm hoping that a fish will come up and smoke this came off I think he come off and threw me in yup dang well we had one on the swim bait threw me off into some dang on <sighs> some wood but comes with the territory There we go, guys. Another small one. Another small one. Oh, he's on some wood too? No. Did he throw me off? I don't feel him anymore. Oh no, he's still there. There we go, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, boy, oh boy. Of course, guys, I was not recording, but we got a nice dang on two and a half, three pounder, man. Look at that frog, man. That thing is in his mouth. That's a Terminator frog. Little small Terminator frog. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, boy. 
Finally got a decent one. Let's go, baby. Let's go, man. Woo! Yes, sir. All right, guys. This that fish came off this little Terminator frog. I forgot the uh, name of the color of it, but I had to take the Guggen Squad frog off. The white was not, it just wasn't producing anything anymore. So I decided to switch up frogs and this thing has a crazy walking action back and forth. It's definitely different than the uh, Eat Me Frog. You know, the Eat Me Frog is one of my favorites, but we went ahead, switched it up and we caught a fish on it. So let's see if we can't get some more. It's still raining overcast, man. It's, it's one of the most perfect times to be out here fishing for top water fish. So let's keep getting after it, man. Let's get it. Uh, ain't like that, Cass. There we go, that's better. Man, the walk on this frog is pretty insane, man. I, um, it's way more erratic than the eat me. So every frog you get is gonna have a different walking action, you know? This frog, the Terminator frog, is different from the Guggen Squad eat me frog, which is different from the sexy KVD frog. You know, they all have different attributes that um, complement pros and cons, you know what I mean? Like, when I throw the, uh, the eat me frog, I know that I can cast it 10 or 12 times and don't have to worry about clearing no water out of it. This frog, I don't know. I've only cast it at like three or four, so I don't know how good or how bad the water intake is gonna be on it. But definitely when that fish hit it, he, he it has water in it, which goes wild frogs, because they squeeze it down, you know, when they chomping on it. So it lets water in. But this frog has uh, got a crazy, crazy side to side action on it. I like it. And a fish in here liked it as well. I'm trying to see if we can't get on some mo. Throwing right up on the edge by these pads. See if we can get a reaction out of one of these fish that's just waiting on something to slide on by and smoke it. That rain is slowing down a little bit, which is great because I was getting soaked for a second. But we don't care, man. Real anglers, man. We be out here. Don't matter. <laughs> well, it does matter if it's like a hurricane or something, but Otherwise, I want to go fishing. There we go, guys. There we go. Another little small guy. Come here. Come here. Oh, man, these fish are so beautiful, man. The color, just the dark coloration on them is insane. Another little fat, healthy fish, man. Maybe about a pound. But shoot, man, he smoked that frog. Later, dude. Let's go, man. Terminator frog, baby. Putting in some work. Let's do it. Ooh-wee. Oh, don't let me forget to tell you guys, your first time checking out any of my content, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button right now. And also throw your boy a thumbs up, man, if you're enjoying the content. Um, and also leave me a comment, man. If you guys want to ask me anything, tell me something, just leave it down there in the comment section, man. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That was big. That was like a chain pickerel. Wow.
There we go. Oh, I missed them. No. There we go, guys. Get out of there. This might be a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a real good one. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Golly. I let him get off. <laughs> ah. Man, that was about a three pounder, guys. Ah, dang it. <laughs> there we go, guys. Get out of there. He smoked it. He popped it. <laughs> All right. He popped it. Little guy. But he wanted it bad. I thought he was way going to be way bigger. There we go. All right, little dude. You got some foliage in your mouth. Get that out of there. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> Feisty. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, man. I like it when they get feisty like that. Guys, so we are over here in this thick stuff. Really, really thick stuff, man. Just working this frog. There's another one. I still got him, I think. Ton of grass. I hope he's in there. I don't feel him, but he's there. Now he's not. <laughs> well, I had to battle through all that, so. Dang. But this thick stuff, man, is, is holding the small ones. We need to get back on the, the bigger ones. I don't, I mean, it's really hard for me to figure out a pattern. I mean, they just all over. Back to back cast. There's gotta be a big one over here somewhere. I know y'all saw that. I know you saw that. <laughs> this little fish was smoking this little frog, man. <sighs> That's the third cast in a row over in that stuff. Would have blow up. All right, y'all, it's about that time. We getting ready to get out of here, man, but we had a ball today. I couldn't even get anything after the top water died. It was just, it was pretty much nothing, but the top water was amazing. We caught a lot of fish for real, and we probably missed more than we caught. The biggest one was maybe two and a half, three pounds, maybe, and that's pushing it. The two frogs I was using was, of course, the Eat Me, and we have a Terminator frog 
but sad to eat me if you guys are interested in these frogs i'll leave them down in the uh, description and i'll link them as well so you can get your hands on either one or both of these frogs the terminator frog i mean the walking action on it is crazy it has a dope side to side action and after the uh eat me frog died off i tied on the terminator frog and we caught i don't know four or five more fish uh the hookup ratios are kind of eh, but i didn't do any modifications at all to these frogs these are straight out of the box just like they are with no bending of the hooks or anything besides cutting the uh legs a little bit shorter so it's a smaller target so the fish can really really latch on to it but I had a super dope day. I hope you guys enjoyed this content, man. And if you want to see me come back out here, film some more, or if you have any ideas of any content that I should put out on the channel, please let me know down in the comments section. I mean, you guys already know what time it is, man. Until next time, keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set. Let's get it.